This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. Well, what about, okay, I, I talked about Robert Smith, you know, uh, paying out the debt of the college students. And I saw in, online yesterday that uh, Ford, Ford Motor Company is going to cut 7,000 white collar paying jobs. So, like, where are you? Like, you, look, you know, why is Ford cutting these jobs? That's a good question. F-O-R-D, found on roadside disabled, found on roadside dead. It's a piss poor automobile. Hmm. Continental Town Car is still useful because they have a substantial uh, transmission in it that limo companies like. The brakes are not progressive. They're that old-time power brake where if you step on it slightly, the whole damn car wants to skid to a stop, and you got to go through all kinds of changes about feathering it. Rather than mm-hmm. having a progressive power break where you got to step down harder and harder so it feels like a break, Cadillac took an off the shelf transmission that's a piece of crap so Cadillacs don't last as limos unless you get the uh, SUV edition. Wow. So, I mean, you know, Ford does some crap. You know, like Ford is laying off because guess what? The only street car they make is the Mustang. Everything else is a truck or an SUV. Mm -hmm. It's not surprising. Piss poor business. Because you've got management that's more interested in being a millionaire by the time they get 50 than they are about making the company a success. All these old-time robber barons, every damn one of them was not about to let the company go to hell, whatever they wanted out of it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, cause even they were willing to kill for what they want in terms of their product, getting it right. <laughs> a lot yeah. of folks died behind that. So, I, I, what do you think? What, why do you think things are going to hell right now in terms of quality because of product? Because they have emasculated the country. Okay, they've gotten rid of the masculine component of the yin yang balance or yin yang, depending on how you pronounce it. Mm-hmm. So instead of logic, rationality, reason, discernment, obligation, duty, responsibility, and honor, is do your thing, do 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 what you want to do. So you think that really, that in hindsight, what we talking about the the poor piss poor quality of these some of these cars, that Ralph Nader, what he was doing, you know, was a good thing as far Ralph as Ralph Nader was a bullshit artist. Okay, why you say that? Well, first off, I actually drove a car there. I got a 911 Porsche out here, twin turbo, custom from the factory. The one I got it, when I got it, was 150K. When I put the wheels on it, that ramped it up to almost 200 grand with the modifications. It's mm-hmm. a fine car. Mm-hmm. The closest American car to that is a Corvair. And mm-hmm. Ralph Nader's talking about unsafe at any speed. The problem was is that rich folk, well-to-do folk, bought the Porsches, and they knew how to drive because they were enthusiasts. The ordinary person could buy the car, and if he was an enthusiast, fine. He had a damn fine, well-behaved, maneuverable car that was the closest American equivalent to a Porsche, but uh, was cheap enough for a lot of people who can't drive were the damn to have one. Mm-hmm. Like you see that fat ass white woman on the uh Liberty Mutual commercial. She talks about all the spreadsheets she made up trying to pick the car and then wrapped it around a tree so maybe since the insurance company is mad at her, maybe she needed to change insurance companies instead of spending all that time picking the car when you're so inept driving it that you wrap it around a damn tree. Mm. Or what's this other thing? Uh I hate them. These little bitty Fords, these Subaru, 
these Hondas and this kind of ilk, the little bitty ones that, you know, are for these people that don't need a driver's license because they have seven second attention spans and the car's got to stop for them so they don't rear in somebody or weave over the line and cause a wreck. Well, every time you pass one of the damn things, if you got a radar detector, it sets it off. Mm. You know, that kind of crap. The kind to get in the fast lane, never look in the damn rear view mirror and got two miles worth of traffic backed up behind them. <laughs> and won't move that tired behind over doing 50 and a 55 with a mile and a half of vacant lane in front of them. They won't rent to anybody. Wow. Mm. See, that's that loss of the masculine principle. Move the hell over and have some courtesy. See, you start thinking like a woman. You start thinking like everybody opens the door for me, pulls the chair out for me, yields to me as I walk by. You get in the car, it gets a little difficult. But you got a dick and you start thinking like that, you start acting like the women do. Mm. The women, you get away with it. I'm not going to lie. You know, somebody cuts you off in the car and you get to cussing and then see it's a fine woman. You say, oh, hell, baby, cut me off again with your fine looking self. <laughs> Now they want to talk about body shaming because it's an ugly chick that's 150 pounds overweight and needs to go to going to the gym instead of spending four hours up in a beauty salon, spending $400 she doesn't have to get weave in her head or get her nails done. Go to the gym. You look a lot better. <laughs> Feel better, Women too. Women don't look as good as they used to look. Mm. I know. I, I hate when I lose say. Yeah. What did I joke about telling you? A friend of mine went to Atlanta, came back and said, Joe, man, I saw the finest woman I'd ever laid eyes on. I got the nerve enough to go over and talk to her and found out it was a boy. Mm, man, that does surprise me. Mm. Yeah, but you see what's happening? What's happened to the girls? I, walk, I mean, I went, I've gone to some towns. Okay, for example, there is a restaurant in Memphis called Southern Comfort. Mm -hmm. It's upscale. It is costing you if you go in there. But all of the girls that work there are pretty. Mm. They got a few black ones that are pretty. These are some nice go to the gym, work out, and they smile and they grin. I mean, it's like Baptist Hospital. I was sick. I was in there for almost a month. Mm -hmm. I made a rem I started joking with the nurses. I said, you know, if I was a young man, I'd be coming up in here hanging instead of going to a nightclub. You have prettier women up in here than I've seen any place in this city wow. for years. Mm. And you see, they get hired in from outside of the state, come in, and they work there. Mm -hmm. so they got all these pretty girls working up in the hospital. Mm. You go to a nightclub, it looks like they have uh, a WNFL. Women's National Football League up there, and most of the women in there look like they're lying or mm. lying with them. Mm -hmm. Playing tackle and guard and <laughs> defensive tackle, defensive end, center, and all that mess. Mm. Linebacker. <laughs> Is that bad? Well, you know what? You know, I hate when. You know it's that bad. Yeah, I will say. You the young man. <laughs> Yeah, like, I hate when the women don't look like their pictures. Like, they use a lot of filters. You know how people use filters on their social media pictures? And when you like see them in person. China doll. Yeah, it's like, man, I, I, you don't even look like your picture. I couldn't even recognize it. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> False advertising. It's very much so. But, but it's like, well, yeah. Go ahead, Jeff. And let me tell you something. I was in Southern Comfort, and I was looking at that. And I, I, my date and I were talking about it. I said, you know what's interesting? Mm -hmm. When you and I were younger, talking to my date, I said, those girls would have been upset if somebody didn't tell them how good they looked. He said, you're right. And now if you told them they look good, they were talking about you guilty of molestation <laughs> or some kind of wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. So what the hell happened? She said, I used to dress and I was feeling good and smile if a man said, dear, you're really looking good. You go in there and tell one of these girls that they're looking good and they'd be insulted all in a huff. Mm. 
because they've been taught falsely that somehow or another that's insulting. Right. You know, we dress for ourselves. We don't dress for men. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, you know what? I want to bring this up, Judge. This is a good segue into like the situation with Steph Curry White. Like people got mad about her saying that she wanted basically male groupies, people to look at her and make her feel good. You know, you no. Know, well, yeah, there's that. There's role reversal. Okay. See, the truth of the matter is, for most of the planet's history, healthy males, healthy men, you know what their business has been? What? It's about the pursuit, acquisition, and enjoyment of Nookie. Mm. Whether you were a king, potentate, general, or somebody, you were about the pursuit, acquisition, and enjoyment of Nookie. Mm. And nowadays, the boys don't even get it. And I get a lot of them confessing to me when I talk to them after, you know, the restaurant's close. I just sort of hang and they come over and talk. And so many of them are freaked out. So I got to confide in you, Judge. It's just that I'm really freaked out about something. I came downstairs when I was in junior high school to get a glass of water. And my mother and this girlfriend of hers were naked down on the couch doing stuff. Her head was down toward the other one's feet. Wow. You know, but waist deep, you know, and the other one was doing the same thing. I was saying, what were they doing? They had the legs spread. And then I later learned, I just said, what was my mama doing naked, wiggling around with this other woman naked? <laughs> and I've heard that a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Wow! And these boys have a complex about that. But you listen to the Rainbow Bunch; everything's supposed to be all right. Hmm. From what I'm having confided to me, it ain't all right. 